Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here, and for today's video, I just wanted to talk about Shadowhunter, all of his abilities, and how everything works. If you want to see the gameplay of Shadowhunter, you can check out my last video, which talks about all of that. But in this video, I figured that I should just talk about each ability, because I didn't really cover that at all in the last video. I kind of just went over, like... All the buffs all the nerfs and then what shadow hunter is capable of and as far as my stats go i have max crystal four i have a club that gives me max benefits this is all in the pts by the way i'm using chester which gives me extra physical damage boosts so 30 percent there with some movement speed and then i have some movement speed gear as well as uh trailblazing here which gives you 10 i believe extra movement speed and jump but yeah i just want to go over each ability here so i'll just start things off with the m5 because for the m2 i have to actually charge that for it to work and i'll show you what it exactly does so we'll just start with the sun snare here all right i accidentally just use my roll ability but uh, as you can see we have an enemy here he already got stunned but i'm just gonna do that and as you can see this is supposed to be a normal stun ability but it actually explodes and it does the stunning part too. But since I have one shot here, they kind of just insta die. So we don't really get to see that stun part. So I think this is pretty cool. With the stats that I have now, you can just one shot. So I guess I'll just put up my stats here. And keep in mind, I have everything in the game. Like literally everything in the game. Apart from perma torches from a couple classes. I say a couple, I'm missing literally eight perma torches. Still good progress. But either way, uh, like I said earlier, those are the stats that I have. So I'm just like one shotting pretty much. And another thing to note is that I'm in Uber 10. I didn't mention this in my last video, but your light is actually capped. So for Uber 10, the maximum light you can do is 8k and anything past that won't do anything extra. It's just all dependent on your coefficient from there. So with Shadowhunter, if you have more physical damage, like Shadowhunter did get a buff to his overall damage. So that kind of helps with the whole one shutting part in U10. This also applies to Delves. So the only thing light helps with is damage to bosses. Just gotta keep in mind that light is capped at 8k but anything past uh what was it 128 128 and higher uh there's no cap so you don't have to worry about that i thought that was just something a little bit extra if you guys wanted to know so anyway let me just keep showing you guys the abilities so as you can see this enemy is marked and if i just shoot him like that you can shoot enemies through walls that is actually insane so if i can get it to happen here i don't think i can get it. oh there we go yeah, you can shoot enemies through walls, so I thought that was pretty cool. And while I'm already here, I can show you guys the M2 ability. So as you can see, if I zoom in a little on my Shadow Hunter, you can see two arrows coming out of my hat there. That means I have two arrows ready to use for my M2. So this can go anywhere from 1 to 5, or was it 1 to 6? Something like that. So you can have at max 5 or 6, I can't remember the exact number, and you can just use it whenever you want to. And pretty much if you use it, it goes, to, it travels and blows up an enemy. So I'm just going to use it right over here. And as you can see, it traveled through the ground there. Not through the ground, but you kind of saw it there. But it fires all of them at the same time. So if there's multiple enemies, you can just do that and it'll kill all the enemies. It's a pretty cool ability, I gotta say. And pretty much the only thing left here is the M4 ability. So we got the ultimate. I will just show you what you guys can do with the ultimate. So if you hold it, you actually create this... Uh, I don't even know what to call it, but when your energy runs out, it stops. Oops, I don't know what happened there. But you can see these purple things. And they kind of travel and they just, you know, they kill enemies. I have to make sure to actually hit them. So if I hit them, yeah, they travel, hit the enemy, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty much the idea of this is you hold it down and you use all of your energy. As you can see, my energy bar there. And once you're out of energy, it's, it's all done. And you can just see them flying. If there's an enemy this way, it'll hit it, but there's no enemies up here, so it won't hit anything. But that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. Apart from that, uh, if you roll... You can actually gain this massive movement speed so if you can see my movement speed meter down here yeah i go from like what what is it 115 to 185 movement speed it's actually crazy all right looks like it's 122 i thought it was a little bit less but it looks like shadow hunters got a higher base movement speed but yeah that's all i wanted to show you guys hopefully this all makes sense hopefully you get a better understanding of the rework if you want to see what exactly happened to shadow hunter you can check out the last video which talks about the buffs that he got, as well as some of the other classes that got buffs, like uh, Ice Age got a pretty good one, Candy Barb got a pretty good one. I mean, Ice Age isn't like super standout or anything, but it's all right. Uh, Tomb Raider got a really weird nerf, like, uh, I don't want to explain it too much, but pretty much sometimes the minions work, sometimes they don't. So I don't know, hopefully they fix that. I know they do less damage, but as far 
towers damaging enemies sometimes they don't damage enemies so hopefully they fix that bug and then i tested out chloro chloro does pretty good damage as well like i did depth 140 on stream not too long ago and chloro solos it just fine so the chloro is still going to be the best single target dps character I know Knight got a pretty good buff as well. Neon Ninja got a really nice one. You can actually one-shot stuff here. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. This was specifically for Shadowhunter. If you have any questions, drop something down in the comments down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. If for whatever reason you don't receive a comment from me, it's not because I want to ignore you. For some reason, I don't get notified that you commented on my video. And if you comment, like, another time, then I still won't see it. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is, but sometimes I'll just manually check through the video to see if there's anybody new there. But yeah, if you don't receive a comment from me, I apologize you could check out my discord though i have a trove general chat in there if you have any questions feel free to ask me in there or there might be someone else in there that could help you out hopefully you guys enjoyed drop a like subscribe if you're brand new to the channel and i will see you all later